Hi everyone, this is Tara from Crystal Knits here. I just want to share with you my August unboxing from Knit Picks. Thank you so much Knit Picks and We Crochet for sending me these beautiful wools and wonderful tools. I've been enjoying so much designing with them. And let me start with the yarny goodness. So, first thing I want to show you is their palette fingerling weight. It's 231 yards and it is made out of 100% Pervulian high, Highland wool. I have knit a while back from them in the marine heather I think it was the featherweight cardigan I wore that thing so much I loved wearing that sweater so I've got an ice lily oatmeal heather and then pluma heather these are going to be into a colorwork shawl I'm thinking they're so pretty together I fell in love with them when I saw them and I, I don't know, I just love this brown. And I'm not a brown person, but just look how beautiful they are together. I cannot wait to design something with it. It's definitely gonna be color work of some sort, but a lot of fun. I got two balls of each. Then, apparently I like this, but they are not the same color. They're slightly different. This is twill fingering, 183 yards, 100% merino, superwash merino wool. And it is the horchacha heather. I got two of each of these balls. And rosewater heather. I'm also knitting, I'm not sure if it's the same yarn or not. Um, in the rosewater heather, my like a cloud cardigan. I love this colorway. And they look so pretty together. It's a little bit more brown than the oyster heather. I mean, this, is not, this is oyster heather. So you can see they're a little different. It's going to be really pretty. I think a cowl or a shawl with this. Or maybe socks. I don't know. I'm just loving this. The next is the Capretta Fingerling Weight, 230 yards, 80% super fine merino wool, 10% cashmere, 10% nylon. And this one is the Magnolia Heather. I know I'm obsessed with mauve, but they're all different. They're all different shades, I promise you. They are not the same exact shade. <laughs> I know my color palette's like the same thing over and over again. Then Moonstone Heather, which is a nice like bluish gray. Blush, which I think is their prettiest pink. I love it. Ooh, got a little spots on it. There you go. Sage brush, right? Yep. It's like a minty color. And lilac. So let me show you all of them together. I got two skeins each of this. Then I got Stroll Fingerling Weight Orbit Tonal, 462 yards, 75% superwash merino wool, and 25% nylon. So pretty. Oh, and this is Orbit Tonal, that's what the colorway is. And then this one, which I think will look so good together in a shawl and maybe some socks, Pansy Tonal. And then I got this one, Hawthorne Fingerling Weight, 257 yards, Kettle Dye. It's 80% Superfine Merino Highland Wool, 20% Polymnade, and it is the Contessa Kettle Dye. It's sort of a, like a reddish plum color. Then next, I think this will make a really nice kind of a jewel tone shawl. This is the Capra DK weight, 123 yards. It is 85% merino wool, 15% cashmere. And the colorway is Longenberry Heather. Then I got Arctic Heather. No, Andorandic Heather. And Eclipse Heather. So that's going to be one beautiful DK weight shawl. I'm really enjoying it. I love Nitpicks DKs. I always use the gloss, so I'm having fun branching out, trying all these different DKs from them. And they're just such beautiful. It's Even though it's dark, it's kind of got like a pastel-y quality to it, which you know me, I love my pastels, so that's why I'm enjoying that a lot. The next thing is the Chroma Fingerling Weight. 396 yards, 70% superwash wool, 30% nylon. I'm thinking of knitting either a sock or gloves, gloves, shawl, 
glove shawl. Yeah, sock gloves and shawl. I got three skeins of this, and then I got one worsted to do a hat set. So it's this one is really interesting. Like there, you see the purple in it, and then you got like sort of like a sagey green, sort of tealy it goes to. And you got like a kind of a tan down here. You got a nice and dark, sort of a mauvey purple. Then you got the lighter one over here. It has so many colors in this drawing room. I love it. Can't wait to see how that knits up. Now, the next thing I'm going to show you, I actually started knitting something with this because I got this about two weeks ago. I was waiting for one more item. So I started knitting. This is my Rose Garden Cowl. It's the Advent version, so it's going to be 24 different colors in here. What I decided to do was have one main color, and that is the Stroll. Fingerling weight, 231 yards, 75% fine merino wool, 25% nylon. And this is what that one looks like. And what, what was the colorway? Sorry. Cobblestone. So I have this in between each color I'm using. And these are the two palettes, the Oyster Heather and Ice Lily. This was from last time I got, I think it's the Blue Yonder Stroll Tonal. And then this one is... Rainstorm Heather. It's a nice like tealy blue, this green. Then I also got from Stroll Sapphire Heather. It's beautiful blue. And then Duchess Heather. It's a beautiful purple. I have some Felici self-striping yarn from Knit Picks, and I wanted some heels, toes, and cuffs to go with it. So that's why I picked these colors, but they're going to go beautifully in this. I can't wait to put a lot of these in here. And then I put the tags back on so I know what I'm using. So I'm only using about, I think it's six or seven grams of each thing for that. And let's see, okay. The next thing I'm going to show you is, let me talk first about Stroll Tweed. All right, so last time I got Knit Picks unboxing, I tried out the Stroll Tweed. I've never really used Tweed. I am a Tweed convert let me tell you i am obsessed like crazy obsessed with it now and it is so soft to knit with i cannot wait to wear these socks i've designed three socks already with what i had left i'm almost done with what i ordered last time so i ordered more so this is the onward sock it is in north sea heather and persian heather and it is 231 yards 65% superwash merino wool, 25% nylon, 10% dangan tweed. So this is the Persian heather. So that's what that looks like when it's knitted up. And then where are you? This is the North Sea heather tweed. I love it. These are in the December collection they have. They also have a September collection. I think they have one of each month. But they came. it comes with like six skeins of yarn. So the December one had one skein each of like a lot of blues and grays. So I ordered two of those. And then I ordered one of September because it had two of each of like greens and blues and reds. So I think this one came in September. This one came in December, I think. I'm not sure. And you're going to see why I'm not sure because I was naughty. Mm-hmm. I'm obsessed. So this is the December and the September set. I am crazy obsessed with their tweet. It's insane. So I'm going to go through everything in the box, and then I'm going to show you two more designs I've knit with this. This one has, again, this is the out, um, Onward sock. It has been released. The other two are soon to be released. So first we're going to go with Flagstone Heather. It's the dark gray. Willie's. Heather, it's a black. It's very light gray, dawn Heather's almost whitish. I think this came in both ones. I got four of them. Earl Gray Heather. Dalmatian Heather. It's white. Looks like a Dalmatian. Um what's this one? <coughs> Marine Heather. A little bit brighter than the Persian Heather. And then this one's pretty too. The Atlantis Heather. So this three different colors. Let me see. North Pole Heather, which 
I have designed my Bridgerton sock, my Bridgerton sock, sorry, with. So it's like a diamond bracelet with lace um, feathers going down. And then the rest is just stockinette. So I, I figure a pretty bracelet with feathers hanging down because I had a lot of crazy stuff in Bridgerton. So loved this. I got two of that one. Then we got Garnet Heather. I think this came with the September one. I don't know if I showed this to right. Ranger Heather. And again, I think these two will look beautiful together. And then this one is Forest Heather. So, I don't know. I could do something with these, I think, together. So that was the September and the December boxes. Oh, I don't know if I showed you this one. Oyster Heather. That's pretty, too. Yes. Then I ordered four of the Indigo Heather because I just love that purple. I don't know what I'm going to knit with this. But I did order eight of the Lilac Fields Heather because that's my favorite colorway. I am going to knit a sweater in this. And I have designed already a sock in it. And the sweater is going to go with the sock. It's going to be the Downton Socks and the Downton Sweater. My first sweater design. Just love. It's like a pretty lace and texture. And then the rest is just stockinette. So I'm very excited about working with this. It's going to be so soft to wear. I cannot wait. Oh my gosh. I love their tweed. And then I decided to branch out. And then I tried their city tweed. It's DK weight, 123 yards. 55% merino wool, 25% super fine alpaca, 20% diangle and tweed. I am so sorry if I'm pronouncing that incorrectly. I don't know how to say that. But this is the primstone colorway. Got two of those. And then I got two plum wines. I'm going to design socks with these. Maybe do heels, toes, and cuffs with each one. Switch it off. I don't know. But they're gorgeous. I'm really excited about trying that out. I've never knit DK weight socks before. No, wait, I have. I made my son a DK weight, but it was poor quality DK for socks. So this is going to be perfect for them. I cannot wait to wear it. Use these. Okay. So now I'm going to show you my tools. This is what I'm really impressed with Knit Picks. All right. This was my blocking mat. They have gotten ruined because my kids keep getting at them. And then we were redoing our floors and I needed something cut on. So these are like completely been through the ringer. But what I didn't like about them, when you do lace shawls, you know, when you put the pins in, it would go up like that. They're very thin. Now look at the Knit Picks one. I got three boxes of this. I am so impressed with this. It's crazy. First of all, they're bigger. I don't know if you can see. Can I get that? Yeah, they're much bigger. You can see that, like, that much bigger. And then, look at the thickness. Even my husband, when he saw these, commented on how much sturdier these look compared to the ones I've been using. He's been getting mad because they got ruined. And when I said I ordered new ones, he was happy for me because he felt so bad that during remodeling these got so badly ruined because the kids got at them they just end up everywhere but just the thickness in them and i have used it to um block a shawl and i couldn't believe i didn't need that many of them where these i needed uh, technically i needed four sets of these to do one shawl i only needed two sets to do a shawl with this so i'm very impressed with this I kind of want to get another set or two because i have a bad habit of waiting till i block something and then I, I block everything at once. So it'd be nice to be able to do everything, but I, I can't get, look, this doesn't really bend. It's so sturdy. And it's a pretty kind of lilac color, the like grayish lilac. I really am impressed by this. Another thing I was impressed with was I got their blocking, no, their winding station. So I got this pretty rose gold case for this because my Swift broke a long time ago. And I had that from when I first started knitting. So it's been about eight, 10 years I started knitting. And the I had the original Knit Picks one, it broke. So then I was like, I had a hard time finding a place to put the Swift on something. So then I switched to the Amish Swift. Big mistake, big, big mistake. It was nice because you could just put on any kind of tabletop and do it. It's constantly getting unraveled. I even put clips on it, trying to hold it on. It was constantly tangled. I hate it. Plus, you got to put it together every time you use it. So I asked for their Onyx version. 
They have upped their game so much in this Umbrella Swift. I can't even tell you. There are metal holders now for it. So it holds it so much better. Because a lot of times when the original one, it would collapse. This does not happen with this one. It holds it so tight. And it is so quiet, it doesn't squeak. My other Swift squeak, this does not squeak. It's beautiful. And I think this has gotten, before it used to be string. Now it's this nice kind of leathery type of thing that I think it will hold a lot better. Because that's what happened last time it broke. So they have upped their Swift game so much. If you need a Swift, go to Nitpicks. I'm not kidding you how impressed I was by this because I, I wish I never went to the Amish Swift. I really do. I'm so glad to have this now. I was able to do six skeins in like no time flat. Usually after one or two, I give up because it's all tangled and I'm just, I'm done. So fast. I'm not kidding. Try a nitpick Swift. It will change your life. And then they have these cute cases to hold it. So again, so the kids can't get at it. Cause that's my problem all the time. So I have it in the corner hidden and it's in this beautiful case. I would order this soon if I were you because I think they discontinued the metal colors, which I don't know why I love this colorway. I love anything rose gold. I think it's beautiful. I have so much of the rose gold stuff. Then I, this is the only ball winder I've ever used. I love knit picks. I'm a little hard on them, but so I got one that came with it. I got another one. So as I said, I, I have a bad habit of breaking them, but I love the Swift. This is the only one I want to use. I, um, from my original one, I had the handle. Now you put them on the tabletop. Again, I don't have tabletops to put this on it. Well, I'm getting a new coffee table soon, so maybe I'll be able to, but right now, so I hold this, but I love these ball winders. So I got another one, so I'm very happy. And then this is why I got the winding station too. Look at that beautiful, look at that. Do you see, look at, it's two-tone. It's called the Onyx yarn ball holder. Look at that. I don't know. The light is making it really sparkly. It's beautiful in pictures, these. So it's aesthetically pleasing as well as so practical. It holds the yarn so much better than the plastic ones. And I don't have to worry about when my kids knock it over because the plastic would break. And then I'm always afraid of ceramic. But the wood is very sturdy. It has a beautiful finish. I have the lighter wood one. And now I got the dark wood one. I love this, especially with jewel tones. This looks so good in pictures. And then it has these really pretty, like you put the yarn in. That's what I usually do. But if you want to do color work, you could put string through each one of these. It's just so pretty. I love it. So that's the winding station. And then the last thing I want to show you, it is a little kit I got from Wee Crochet. Came in a pretty box. And... <laughs> You know me, I love bags. It came with the everyday tote and um, silver. That's the reason why I got it. Plus, I came with Majestic, which one is this? The Majestic H hook. It is five millimeters. I always kind of wanted to try the wood hook. So I was very excited when it came with this. And then I also asked for an eye hook. Because I is what I use mostly in my crochet when I do blankets and everything. So i kind of curious how this works. How sturdy they are and everything compared to metal. Because I do love the wood knitting needles. I love that little click, click, click. So I'm excited to try these out. Um, let me take one out so I can show you how beautiful they are. So the Majestic is my favorite from them. For the knitting needles. It's such a beautiful color. When I first started knitting, that's what I used to use. Oh, it's, look at that. I did not notice. It has little ridges over here so you can put your finger on there better. Look at that. Oh, look at that color. Am I blowing it out there? Beautiful teals, blues, and then this beautiful purple. That's my favorite, of course. And then a little black. It's, it's really beautifully handcrafted. I love this. I can't wait to start crocheting with this. Oh, it's, and it's a little flat surface over here, too, which I like. I like that a lot. I can't wait to try this. So, again, this is the beanie kit, I think it's called. I'll let you know once I get to the box. So, the, it came with Brava Worsted, Worsted, sorry about that, 218 yards, 100% premium acrylic. So, this is the, what colorway is this? They don't have the colorways. Oh, here is white, obviously. Then, this is Tranquil. 
coral. It's just like an orangey color. It looked more red on the line. This is a gold. This is really pretty. What color? I'm about to say gold. No, caution. It's coming out more yellow, but it's more goldish in person. And then my gray, which I love gray. Silver. This is pretty and dishy, too. I have a dishy in that. So it was a Learn to Crochet beanie set. So it came with this little book on it has, let's see if it has the picture of the beanies. I want to show you the information, but I will show you the beanies if I can find it. The picture at the end. Oh, it even has a cowl in there. Here's the beanie. So you don't see how the pattern. Okay. Oh, it has a granny square. A dishcloth. I didn't know it had all this. Okay. I like that. I thought it was just a beanie. It has a stitch guide in it and some tips and other crochet tools you could get, which would be great. I have these. I love this. I love the Notion pouches. I have quite a few of them. It's very nice. And then I'm very excited about this. I always need more scissors. And this has a nice little sheath on it. I might get some more of these. Order some. These are really nice. I like that. And then the beautiful everyday tote in silver. In case you know me, I love my sparkle. Let me show you that. Can I take it out? Oh, God, I love this. Sorry about the crinkling, everyone. How pretty is that? This goes with so much of my clothing. And it has little crochet needles on the inside because it's the crochet from We Crochet is supposed to knit picks. And then it has a big pattern area where you can hold your pattern. So that is all I got. Thank you so much again, Knit Picks and Crochet. Me crochet. You have no idea how much I appreciate this yarn and tools, and I'm so excited to be using them. Everyone have a wonderful day. Bye.